My name is Pauline McIntosh and I'm a field worker with the St. of X Extension Department. I've been working locally in communities in Atlantic Canada for about 23 years and I've had the privilege of sharing some of those learnings in the classroom at Cody since 2001. Um, my name's Adam Baden-Clay. I manage youth leadership programs at Cody. Uh, and before coming here, I uh, worked with a uh, livelihoods and personal development program with young Indigenous men in Northern Australia. Uh, I've been at Cody for about eight years, um, and I'm really excited uh, to work on this program, particularly with uh, Pauline. So Adam, this year, we have the pleasure of co-facilitating the delivery of facilitation and training skills for community-led change, FATAC. That's often how it's called here in the hallways of Cody and Extension. I am really thrilled to be working with you on this. I've seen such great things coming out of the youth programs, and I always hear such excitement when you're facilitating with the youth who are coming up and doing this kind of work that I'm really happy to learn more about the facilitation styles and skills and experiences that you'll draw from with me this year in, or in 2020 in the classroom to work with community development leaders from around the world. Yeah, and I'm really excited as well, Pauline. Uh, one of my first memories at Cody actually was when you came into a classroom of mine uh, to introduce our participants to uh, adult learning and adult education. So, yeah, so that uh, so I'm thrilled to be doing this program with you. Um, I get so excited about this program because, as community development practitioners, um, our participants are always and inevitably facilitators and or trainers. And, um, and so to, to develop consciousness of that and to um, increase capacity to learn from each other, that's one of the things I'm excited about is learning from our participants what they're, what they're doing in, in the field, what they're doing in their contexts and, and taking some of that on board ourselves. Um, but yeah, one of, the, one of the exciting things is that is that once people become conscious and aware of their their positionality and their and their uh, their role as a facilitator or as a trainer, and how to optimize that role for best effect, um, that can that can have real impact. Mm -hmm. You've uh, done such a huge amount of work in uh, in the local area and in out in the field, working with uh, community development individuals and organisations. Um, what would you say would be uh, some of the things that you're excited about bringing some of that learning into the classroom in FATAC? Thanks, Adam, and I couldn't agree with you more about this being a really exciting opportunity to learn from everyone in the room. And I think our role will really be to open the space and to ensure that we build a really good environment for that kind of sharing to happen. And I was participating in a conference over the weekend and uh, the convener referred to it as being a place where we would not only show respect, but be respected. And I'm really excited to, to think of it in those terms and to bring people together in that way. The experiences that I've had locally, I think are, are so probably characteristic of the experiences that many of the people who will come to this course next summer have also had. Um, having had the opportunity to, to teach at Cody for many years and facilitate learning, um, I, I've seen that the, the issues and challenges and opportunities and gifts and strengths that I see in local communities here are also present in local communities from around the world. And the real blessing of this kind of learning experience is it's an opportunity for people to come together and to share from their perspective and see the universality of our learnings and how we can build on those learnings and scale them for even greater benefit for the communities in which we're all working wherever they're located. Uh, I, I agree completely, and 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 one of the things that you that you've touched on there was the idea of community, and that's one of the things that I'm really looking forward to is building that community in our classroom space, um, and 
uh, and and certainly my experience uh, as a facilitator has been that that learning community that we create is so important to the learning of everybody in the in the in the classroom and in the community, um, and so I'm looking forward to creating that. And again, that that idea of consciously creating community is something that I've been working on for several years, and to um, and to share that with our participants, to create that learning community, and again to learn from them how they do that in their context, and um, and you know what what can be tweaked, what can be adjusted, what we can learn, what we can build upon, uh, is going to be really exciting. The other thing I think we agree on is that learning also happens much better when we're all having fun. Mm -hmm.